we have a lot of cases of violence where women are battered, women are even beaten to death, women are stabbed to death. Women around the world are, are in so many societies the underdog. In so many societies it's okay for a man to rape his wife. You, you're not always aware of certain things like you know, of course it happens, but you don't think it's maybe on such a large scale or you don't think, you know, it's anything to do with you. But it is, because if you can help and fight for it, then it's to do with you. Of course you are aware of it to a point, but of course after working with it, you get familiar with lots more statistics and facts and actual stories of individuals and, yeah, it doesn't get any prettier somehow. <laughs> The Put Your Foots On campaign is calling on the UK government to take action on violence against women and HIV and AIDS and also to persuade other donors and developing country governments to do the same things because the fact is in so many countries violence against women is at epidemic levels and we know that this is causing the spread of HIV whether we're talking about sexual violence, sexual abuse of girls in schools, forced marriage, domestic violence, all of these things make it more difficult for women to assert themselves and for women to protect themselves from HIV and AIDS. The Put Your Foot Down campaign is really important because a lot of people don't know how many women contract HIV each day. A lot of people don't know, you know, that maybe women are just you know, having terrible, terrible times at home, that home is supposed to be a safe place and for these women it's not and I'm sure that the, maybe you know the government is aware of this but it's really important to say that we're not okay with this and they need to do something as well. We had to try and capture the imagination of our campaign targets and also to capture the imagination of the public. So we decided to go for something a bit unusual and a bit more creative, shoes. We all have a pair of shoes that tells a story or carries an experience from our lives. So we thought, why not ask people as a symbol of putting their foots on to give a shoe to the campaign and then let's do something exciting with these shoes. Let's build them into an artwork or a sculpture and let's try and bring that down to the Department for International Development and really bring the voices of all those campaigners into the room. Um, so I sent in some shoes, but my family also contributed some shoes. It's a very easy thing to do. You know, you've got, if you've got a shoe, you can send it and you're doing something. It's not you just reading about these figures or reading about the statistics or reading about these women. It's just, it's you giving like maybe just a little part and sort of helping this campaign. I thought it's a great, great idea. Hi, I'm Susanna. I've come to see what work you've been doing with the shoes. We gathered about 300 physical shoes as well as over 3,000 virtual shoes that came from people signing petitions and taking action online. And we were really lucky. We got in touch with the Young Creatives Network and they put us in touch with a fantastic artist called Rita Iconen. Um, and Rita's idea was to take about 15 or 20 of the shoes and customise them into the individual stories of women affected by violence. This one is about a girl who got raped by her, the pastor. Oh. Is it pastor? Of her yeah. church. Yeah, pastor. And she was too scared about the fact and was kind of keeping quiet. You're treading on very delicate lines and stuff. So kind of, it's rough shoe, oh, okay. but it's more like, oh. Yeah. Um, this woman was sort of raped by her pastor. You know, I don't know what it can, what it's like to suffer in silence like that. I don't know, um, you know, I don't really know how it feels, but just for this woman, kind of, I feel kind of, anger and I feel like I have to help her or help people that are in her situation. This one is for about a lady who gets kicked out of her house because her husband throws her out when she becomes HIV positive and she's thrown out and her life is shattered yeah. and even though her life is shattered it's kind of like it's a bit cheesy but you can put your life back together, together. again. And oh that's brilliant actually. Yeah and it kind of it's difficult and tough and it maybe it doesn't quite work your life but it is put back together yeah. but you need help and yeah. support and stuff so, so kind of a mess but it can make sense but like how do you feel like doing these kind of these sort of works how does it make you feel um it's a very very tough topic and i think the toughest thing is to keep it light not too light but when i'm thinking of the members of public and yeah. people who are seeing it so that they can watch it and get um 
kind of sucked into it. Yeah. And then the message will affect on another level rather than using like shock tactics or overly yeah. graphic way of like putting it across. So how is it going to be shown? Does it just... It will be shown on a like big wall together with about 200 other shoes. But is this what it's going to end up looking like? Yeah. <laughs> oh no clever. way, that's so cool. So these black ones mm. are kind of like all the women whose voice isn't necessarily yeah. heard. And then all the ones that we have made up yeah. into more special ones are kind of like the ones with the, the message. Yeah. Well, I think you're Brilliant. doing a very, very good job Thanks. from what I have seen. So can't wait to see the end result. Me neither. <laughs> so I want to applaud Action Aid for uh, this campaign. Um, I think it is uh, very, very important that it's raised the profile of the issue. We've got to see this as being central. It isn't a marginal issue. It's got to be right at the heart of what development at the beginning of the 21st century is all about. We want to work with organisations like yours in the end to make a real difference. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thanks. When I came in to see the, um, the installation, I was quite surprised by kind of the kind of scale of it. These stories stand out a lot better than I thought they would. This will definitely catch your eye. You cannot miss it. Um, how does it feel to, to see it up? Yeah, it's quite amazing. It's only been a month project, but it's been quite an intense month. But yeah, it's very, very nice to see it all happen. Yeah, it works. I think the artwork looks so amazing. I think if we had done a normal campaign with postcards or letter writing, I'm quite sure that we wouldn't have had the opportunity to come down here today and meet with Ivan Lewis. But because we've done something a bit different, that's eye-catching, that's unique, um, it's caught his imagination and he's come down here to meet with us. So I think it's, you know, it just speaks volumes about what a good idea it is to think creatively about campaigns. Women have been quiet for too long. So we're saying, as the campaign goes, put your foot down, we're saying we need to stand firm now. We need to stand for our right. We need to make our voices heard. We will not relent. We want to make sure that violence is ended and it should be ended now. The next step for this campaign is following up some of the things that were said today, doing a bit of behind the scenes lobbying and also looking at the review that's going on in DFID at the minute on violence against women, how can we feed into that review and how can we make sure that that review results in continued efforts by DFID and scaled up efforts by DFID to, to deal with the issue of violence against women. My name's Fanula Murphy and I am ActionAid. My name is Susanna Lampert and I am ActionAid. My name's Rita Ikonen and I am ActionAid.